what are some of the, the typical issues uh, that you see clients come to you for? Yeah. One of the big ones is the financial side of the business. Mm -hmm. They don't know where their money's going. They don't know how much profit they're generating. They they typically know how much revenue is coming in. Mm -hmm. A lot of times business owners will manage by bank account. Mm -hmm. uh, the only problem with that is like you're not able to get the insights that you need. You're not able to make sure you're pricing your product or service properly. You're not able to figure out what margin you actually can realistically achieve mm -hmm. in your business. You don't know what what's really driving sales other than it's in your mind, right? So a lot of times I'll see somebody may have, say, QuickBooks set up, but everything funnels into sales, but they've got four different sources of revenue that are coming into the business. And so they're not actually tracking those four sources. It's all hitting a sales line item. So how do we know how much was sold? Well, I mean, if you really dig in, you could, if you're doing your invoicing, say in a QuickBooks or another platform, you may be able to get there, mm -hmm. but it's going to be a lot of work. So let's do the right work up front, having good financial numbers so we can use those to make good decisions in the business. I recently was started reading the book Profit First. I don't know if you've heard of that book, yeah. but, and so, you know, the concept is, there's some really good concepts in there. And I think it works really well for certain businesses, the all the bank accounts and all that can be messy for some people, mm -hmm. but the general concept where you know your numbers and you manage to the numbers and you're paying yourself and you're committed to profit. That's a big focus that I have with business owners. The other one is you hit on it actually when you were in your, in speaking about our working relationship is time. I was on a call with a, a newer client of mine who's developed a really cool product. And you know, right now he's spending a bunch of his time, like half of his day doing work that we would call $20 an hour work. So what I'll typically do with clients in the first, second, maybe the third call, depending upon how things have gone, is I'll ask what your time is worth. I did it with you, yeah. right? What is the value of your time? Not what is the value of your time in the business from the standpoint of what you would pay yourself today mm -hmm. or what you are paying yourself? I'm, it's not that because I'm interested in working with businesses who are growing or aspire to grow. And so as, as a growing business, the value of your time is is not just what you could pay yourself, but the the ability to create greater value in the business. So I asked him a question yesterday and he said, you know, $500 an hour. And I said, well, do you believe that if you invested the five hours that you're spending a day on $20 an hour time, if you invested that on things that, that are really worth $500 an hour in the grand scheme, that you could achieve greater success in your business right. and you could drive more revenue and drive more profit to the bottom line? And he said, yes, of course. I said, well, why are we waiting? 